Okay, this is continuity for the previous uh, slide. Yeah, this is part two. Okay, we proceed. We continue to, with the interest rate parity. Seem like uh, in a parity, only two parity that you need to come up with decisions where to borrow and where to invest. The first one is under international futures flag, and the second one is under interest rate parity. We enough with the international futures flag on the previous slide, and this one. Uh, we need to come up with decision at the interest parity. Okay, just like I mentioned the previous slide, we have a step one, then we need to prove CIA exists or not, and then we proceed with decision. If your left side is more bigger than your right side, means our home currency, our home country is much bigger than our foreign currency, so means it's better for us to, to invest here. Yeah, to invest here. To invest home and to borrow foreign so it's a vice versa okay and vice versa if your home country it uh, interest rate is much cheaper so better we borrow home and our investment in a foreign country okay uh, the last one is unbiased forward rate okay what is unbiased forward rate it's explain the relationship in between the forward rate and also future spot rate that heavily influenced by current expectations of future events that's nothing much to talk about the unbiased forward rate because the formula that consists in this variety is only f1 equal to e1 so means when the future rate is rm3 ringgit your forward rate also ringgit means the forward rate equivalent to a future rate Okay, after you know about these five parity conditions, we have PPP, FE, IFE, IRP, and UFR, you need to know only two theories or only two parity that you need to come up with decisions. One is the international features effect, where to borrow and where to invest. And the second one is the interest rate parity. Okay, interest rate parity. Okay, in the calculation, after you come up with the decision, they may extend the class then for you to calculate the profit that may earn if you come up with a decision where to borrow and where to invest towards the IFE and also the interest rate parity. Okay, I give you an example. This is a passive question, June 2019. Okay, all right. This is question number one, C. Yeah, given the following information, show how much profit you may earn through the covered interest arbitrage. When you see this, when you see this covered interest arbitrage, yeah, CIA, so means this relating to a parity conditions, which part of parity, which is an interest rate parity. Because you, you need to remember, under step one, you need to prove either the CIA exists or not. So that means it's a CIA exists or not. Or not so need, you need to use the IRP theory okay so they give you the spot rate uh, a forward rate and then this one is the interest rate uh, since if you if you look for you to determine where is your home country where is your foreign country you need to look into the quotation if the quotation given you in RM 5.3 zero zero slash gbp so means your home is a rm and your foreign is gb gbp okay so by looking into this so you put this one rhc equivalent to 4.5 percent and rfc equivalent to 3.0 percent so this one is a period of six months yeah, forward rate so when you look into your diamond or if you remember the diamond shape yeah uh, irp is in between this one uh, you need to find out the f1 in between the r it's nothing to do with the inflation yeah when you talk about the interest rate parity it's all about the interest rate nothing to do with the inflation so now they extend the, the cost and they need you to find uh how much the profit through cia okay just like i said earlier since they want to proceed with the covered interest arbitrage so means you need to refer to your interest rate parity okay okay 
So in this one, you need to sign in the question 5.3 to 0.070 pound. So 5.31, this one is a spot. So I need to prove CIA exists or not exists. Yeah, they exist or not. So this one is a step one. So I masukkan all the formula. Yeah, since I know my F1 is 5.3220, okay, for you to, to calculate the uh, CIA and also decision, even though the quotation can give you the B and the us, so for you to come up with the CIA decision and also your decision where to borrow your, and where to invest, please just take your B. Yeah, just take your B. All right. Now I just take my B. F1, 5.3220, I minus with 5.3100, which is that spot, divide with spot, time with 360, divide by 180. Why 180? Because this one is 6 months, 6 months and times with the 30, so it's 180. Or you can also use this one as a 12 over 6. It's easy, yeah, it's either or, times 100. So this one is uh, RHC. 4.5% minus with RFC 3%. So after calculation, I get 0 0.46 on my left and on my right is 1.5. Is it parity? Is it equal? Not equal. When it's not equal, so you just do like this. Not equal, your left and your right not equal. So you just uh, write CIA exists. Okay. So when CIA exists, so you need to come up with decisions. Okay, use the same formula, the different formula, okay, like I gave you on the previous slide, 1 plus REC equivalent to F1 EO times 1 plus RFC. So I proceed, I proceed, I must all the all the information. So look, I get on my left is 1.0450, on my right is 1.0323. So means my home country can give me a better rate. And a foreign can give me a cheaper rate. So better I invest home, I borrow foreign. Alright, this is my decision. Okay. Okay, if the question uh, asks you to compute the profit, the, the question may give you uh, the amount in a home and the amount in a foreign. Okay, so you look your decision. Now your decision, invest home, borrow foreign. So for you to calculate the profit, always take the borrowing amount. So that's why my notes here to calculate profit, take the borrowing amount to start the computation. Yeah, always take the borrowing amount. So it means you you borrow foreign, so you need to take the uh, pound amount. Okay, guys. Uh, after you come up with decision, okay, look here, you need to write borrow, foreign, and invest here, okay? And then you need to compute the table, okay? We have uh, three columns here, okay? Uh, and then uh, the first column, you need to write the activity. The second column is your home currency, which is RM. And the last column is your foreign currency, which is a GBP of pound. Okay, so today this is the first step with that uh, the step that you need to follow. You need to memorize to solve the question for authority for you to compute the profit. Okay, the first thing you need to to list the borrowing. Borrowing. What you borrow? You borrow the foreign currency at what RH RFC? You you write yeah you write. So borrow foreign currency at a three percent. So I just slot my amount at here 500,000 pounds so after I borrow uh, the second step I need to sell my pound to receive RM okay, remember by 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 doing the borrowing I take the amount of borrowing and then I want to invest in a Malaysia I want to invest in RM so in, I need to convert 500,000 pound into RM okay that's why I sell my pound to receive RM Okay, so uh, what I take here, I take a uh, amount, 500,000 pound, I times what I times, I times the spot rate, 5.3100. Why spot? Because this one is a today, it's a today, yeah. So, uh, and this one is amount that I invest, okay. So, I invest, I put RHC 4.5%. So, I take 
500,000, I times with RM 5.300, and then I get 2.655 RM. Okay, through that amount that I borrow in pound, when I convert to RM, this one is amount that I invest in RM. So I write 500, okay, this one you to list 500,000, but you just contra here is a negative, and this one sell, you just write. 2.655 bawah you just write in contra we just need the contra amount but you remember you need to write the correct uh, amount at this the correct row means the borrow must put here and the sell you must put here and then we want to calculate uh, what happened after uh, six months okay first uh, and the third step is a receive investment you invest at a 2.655 okay 2.655 i times with one plus rhc so i get this amount and then after i receive investment i need to pay loan remember you borrow from a foreign i need to pay loan so i take the 500,000 i times with one plus rfc okay so i get 515 Zero, zero, zero. I pinch up 500,000 and after 6 months I need to pay 515,000 zero, zero. so for me to calculate a profit I need to kira the contract settle contract settle so I take my receive investment okay 2.77447 I divide with the RM 5.3270 so since I sell my RM by Amount, I need to take the as amount. Okay, this is the information ataupun knowledge that you gained through the arbitrage. You look into the quotation since the end of the currency is the pound. So, I, I know the decision is sell RM to buy the pound. Why to buy the pound? Because I want to cure the contract settle in a pound. So, I buy pound. I need to take the as. Okay, I take the as. So, I get this one. For me to calculate the profit, the contract settle, I mean, I buy it with the uh, loan, uh, paying loan amount. So, I get the 5832.55. Okay. So, I need to convert it into my home country, my home currency. So, I times back with the 5.3270. Then, I get my 31070. This one is a profit in R. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we're done for a part one for a parity conditions. Now we proceed for a forecasting technique. Okay, forecasting technique, we have uh, two types of model, uh, two types of this, which is model base and also market base. What is model base? We have uh, two types of model base. Either it's a fundamental or technical. Okay, what is a fundamental? Fundamental is based on the supply and demand. Okay, supply and demand factors that affect the trend of a futures uh, exchange rate objective is to obtain the accurate information for a current futures rate and normally the model that we use uh, to forecast the futures rate in future is through the regressions and sensitive analysis or we can use the ppp okay so other factors that affect the supply and demand is inflation interest rate export and import okay the second one is the technical analysis it's uh, when we talk about technical analysis, we refer to the historical historical data and then we put it into a pattern. Pattern through chart. Yeah, through chart. So, means we can see the performance of the Ringgit Malaysia up and down. Either it's a fluctuate or the vertical or, or the um, volatile trend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we talk about the model base now we talk about market base what is market base based on the derive of the market market indicators yeah market indicators okay uh, means the current forward rate uh, implicit information about the exchange rate changes for one year and the interest rate differential may be used to predict the exchange rate beyond one year so normally we use the uh, spot rate a future rate or we use the uh, this is a forward rate or me we may use the future rate okay till then uh, enough about the parity conditions and the technical forecasting uh, I really hope that you understand it well see you guys in a virtual class thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'alahi wabarakatuh